Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a cheap and easy way to get working AC Wi-Fi on your Hackintosh or Mac computer running macOS Ventura. This is the TP-Link Archer T3U AC 1300. It's a dual band USB Wi-Fi adapter that's available on Amazon for around £20 or €20 Euros or dollars. The adapter itself is quite small and looks nice with a glossy black finish and a discreet TP-Link logo on the top. It's not the smallest adapter I've seen, but it's certainly not bulky either. This is a USB 3 adapter, so for best performance it needs to be plugged into a USB 3 port on your computer. You can plug it into a USB 2 port and it'll still work, but the speed will be reduced quite a bit as a result. As the Mac support label on the box suggests, this adapter was compatible with macOS when it was released, with an official Mac driver available on the TP-Link website. However, the TP-Link driver stopped working with the release of macOS Catalina and they're still to release a new one. But it is fully supported by the wireless drivers from Chris1111, which I'll link down below in the video description. This driver works on Big Sur, Monterey and Ventura. Go to the wireless USB Big Sur adapter GitHub page linked below and click under releases on the right. This will bring you to the download page for the most recent version. At the time of making this video, that's version 15. Click the link next to download to download the drivers to your computer. Open your downloads folder and double click on the zip file to decompress it. Open the new folder that just appeared and right click on the icon labeled wireless USB Big Sur adapter, then click open. You'll see a message from macOS asking if you're sure that you want to open it. Click on open again to start the installer. The first thing the installer will do is verify that SIP is disabled. If you have SIP enabled and you don't know how to turn it off, a link to an article on the Apple developer site that explains how. Once the installer starts, click on continue, then continue again, then continue a third time and finally click install. Then you'll have to enter your macOS user password and click install software. You'll see a message from macOS saying that the system extension was updated and you need to approve it in system settings. Click on the button labelled open system settings and you'll see a message under the privacy and security pane saying system software from Realtek Semiconductor Corp has been updated. Click the allow button in this box and you'll be asked for your macOS password again. Enter your password, click on unlock and then you'll need to reboot your Mac for the changes to take effect. Once you reboot, you'll see a new USB Wi-Fi icon has appeared in the top right. If you click on it, you'll see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Choose the network you want to connect to, and then enter your Wi-Fi password as normal, and you should be connected. As for speed, I get around 280 megabits per second download, and around 85 upload. This is very good for 802.118c, which typically maxes out at around 300 in real-world use. If you'd prefer not to disable SIP, then Chris111 also has a notarized version of a driver that works with SIP enabled. I'll link to that one down in the description as well. Overall then, this is a very good little adapter for someone who has an older Mac with slower Wi-Fi or for using with a Hackintosh. It's a little larger than the ASUS AC53 Nano that I reviewed in another video, but it's also a lot faster. I was only getting around 170 megabits download with that one compared to 270 megabits with this one. If you're thinking of picking one up, there'll be a link down below along with a link to the drivers. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.